and I am the president of the Federation of the Hunikui people in Acre, Brazil, in the Brazilian Amazon. And how many people do you represent? I represent 10,400 people in 90 villages, in two indigenous territories, in five provinces of the state of Acre in the Brazilian Amazon. Can you talk about why you've come to Lima for the UN Climate Summit? What is your message? Creio que eu vim para este local com uma esperança de poder I came to Lima to, uh, with the hope of telling the world that the uh, historic discussions here at COP20 amongst the 195 countries and indigenous people of the world and uh, civil society of the world on climate change are historic e também os povos indígenas do mundo que vem para fazer essa discussão sobre as mudanças climáticas. E também porque dentre esses povos também se encontram... Of course, the peoples of the world include indigenous peoples of the world, and we are here to denounce the problems that the governments are causing in our territories. O governo decide o futuro dos territórios desses povos indígenas. My message is from my people and the children and elders of my community, and we are saying that the climate change proposals that the government is tabling here at the United Nations are false solutions to climate change. Specifically, we are here to denounce RED. R-E-D-D, -D, reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation. How does RED affect your community? O estado do Acre foi o primeiro... So the first impact is that the state of Acre is one of the first uh, states in the world that is promoting red, and it is the first state of the Brazilian Amazon that is doing red. And it, it has already violated Convention 169 of the International Labor Organization, which guarantees indigenous people's right to free prior informed consent and the right to say no to projects that affect us. So Brazil is violating Convention 169 because indigenous peoples have not been consulted about RED, and it is moving forward. So the second impact of RED is that it has divided indigenous leaders who before were united to defend the territories in Mother Earth. A third impact of RED is that it has resulted in the co-optation of some leaders who have accepted money and bought cars with that money, um, and they don't even know where that money is from and, and what it means. A uh, outro impacto que o governo brasileiro Another impact is that the government of Brazil, because it is opening its doors to this carbon offset mechanism, um, is that it's gutting the laws and the legal framework on indigenous people's rights and the guarantees that have been enshrined to protect our rights to our territories. Can you talk about the effect on the ground of RED? What happens in your community when it's enforced? Um dos impactos que causou nesses projetos para ser implementado foi a impacts are the following. Um, the community is no longer to fish in their own land, um, to uh, cultivate food, to practice agriculture. Da agricultura de subsistência, hoje eles são proibidos de fazer all of these activities are banned and have been declared illegal, and people are jailed if they participate in agriculture or gold fishing. 
Uh, outro impacto que é so another cruel, impact is, that is a very cruel, cruel impact of red pilot projects governo, is that uh, leaders are being criminalized for opposing uh, uh, the project uh, and um, uh, they, uh, communities are told that the uh, services provided uh, for education or transportation or health care uh, will be suspended if they oppose the Project. É, estrada que não vai ter saúde, atendimento de saúde para essas famílias que é, negam a, em aceitar o projeto de rede nas suas comunidades. What are the communities expected to do? Are they given the money to move? Ah, na verdade, hoje já acontece. Uh, the truth of what is happening Acre in Acre is that there's now a uh, program uh, that pays uh, the community. The program is called Bolsa Floresta, and uh, a family gets 300 reais for three months, which isn't enough to live on. And then they're banned and prohibited for going into the forest so that the government can sell carbon credits to multinational corporations in other parts of the world to offset. That air pollution. Have you been offered money? Sim, a uh... Uh, o governo do Acre com yes, um, the government of Acre uh, offered uh, two million reais to my community. Uh, 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 they said it was to uh, motivate uh, strengthening our culture, but we understood it as a precursor to uh, winning the acceptance of signing a red contract. Então, a minha comunidade não aceitou esse projeto. And who are the corporations and the um, government entities, uh, states in the United States that are doing this in Brazil? Uh, there are many actors that are promoting uh, RED in Acre and that have given money to the state of Acre to do RED. Uh, one of them is the state of California in the United States, but there are also multinational corporations that are offering money to uh, the Acre government to do RED. And um, in August of 2014, uh, Germany gave the government of Acre, uh, 280 million reais to do red. Milhões de reais para o mecanismo de rede no estado do Acre. Ninua, you talked about the criminalization of leaders who oppose red. You're a leader who opposes red. Have you been threatened? Ah, sim, não só eu como vários Yes, uh, I have received threats, but not uh, I'm not the only one who's received threats. Uh, leaders of the Mandoruku, uh, indigenous people, have uh, also received threats for resisting uh, red, and other uh, peoples and leaders are persecuted uh, and criminalized, and our right and freedom of expression and of association uh, and our freedom to struggle and to resist this and to oppose it is being violated. Um, I myself have denounced red and have also received death threats. Finally, Ninua, what do you say to those that say this is an environmental solution, that if corporations or states or countries are going to pollute, that they want to invest in places that remain pristine, that are not polluted. No Brasil, o que eu digo para as pessoas So I isso, respond to those solução, that say that it's a solution that red is not a solution to climate change. It is a ah, false solution to climate change. Um and furthermore, indigenous peoples are not the ones that are causing climate change. In Brazil, in Mato Grosso, então, you know, the biggest uh, soy baron is receiving funding uh, and subsidies então, from the Brazilian é government to cut down the forests. This is not a solution to climate change. And furthermore, RED is criminalizing us. And really, if they care about real solutions, they've got to talk to the logging companies, the soy barons, the, the corporations that are polluting and destroying nature. Indigenous peoples protect Mother Earth. We defend our mother because she is our mother, because she gives us food. 
She gives us the air that we breathe. She gives us the Amazon. And the Amazon is important not just for indigenous peoples, it's important for the whole world. É a importância para o mundo inteiro, não só para os povos indígenas.